demonstration of online restaurant management system. The system allows the users to make a selection of the table as per their convenience on the basis of availability. Along with the convenient table, the interface allows the users to select the type of cuisine or dish that they would like to have, making it more convenient and time saving. The system even includes payment module and even can generate the bill. The admin can add employees information and view the user's details and the booking details. So uh, this application is developed in AS using ASP.NET as frontend and SQL Server as backend. So now let's have a look into the system. So let's first log in into the admin module. Here the admin needs to enter the user ID and password. So once you've entered the user ID and password, uh, these are the options available for the admin that is add employee, view employee, view customers and view the booking details. Okay. So as soon as the, uh, the admin logs in into the system, it can add the employees into the system uh, by filling the following details. That is the name, address, contact number, job title and the salary. And just click on submit. So as soon as the admin uh, clicks on submit, all this information will be inserted in the database. Next one is view employee. Here the user can uh, view all the employees that are registered to the system and uh, and can even search the employees by specifying the employee ID. Okay, just click on search. So as soon as you click on search, the system will display the information of the employee having uh, employee ID as 101. Okay. So the next one is view customers, here uh, the admin can view the customers that are registered to the system and can even accept the order or reject it from here. So suppose I want to accept this order, just click on yes. So as uh, so here the message is shown approved order successfully. That means that order has been approved by the admin. Okay, so then, uh, the next one is view bookings. Here the the admin can view all the information of the bookings uh, that, that has been made uh, that is the booking ID, name, address, the contact number of the of the customer, the date and time of the booking, the number of tables that are booked and the table number and the status of approval okay. So I can search the, uh, the admin can search the bookings uh, by specifying the booking ID okay. So suppose I and just click on search so the system will display the information of of the of the customers having booking ID as 102 okay so these are so this is about the admin module so, let, uh, so now let's log in as a user into the system here the user needs to enter the ID and the password and just click on login so as soon as the user logs in into the system, this is the, uh, the user can uh, view its details that is the name, contact number, address and the email id. So the next option is book table. So as soon as the user clicks on book table, uh, this is a, the booking id will be generated automatically by the system. The name, address and the contact number will also be displayed and the user just needs to enter the date and the time. Okay. Uh, suppose 7 4 and the number of tables to book that is 2 and just click on search so as soon as the user clicks on search it will give a the system will uh, provide a graphical image of the tables okay in the restaurant uh, so so as you can see the tables that are in red color those those tables are already booked and those are not colored that those tables are available so suppose I want to select the table number one uh, and table number three the system also allows the users to deselect a table okay and suppose if i want to uh, select table number eight okay so once you're done with the selection just click on book and if uh, if the users uh, selects more number of tables then specified uh, it will the system will uh, throw an error that is more number of tables selected okay so uh, the system will not allow to book more number of tables than specified. So as uh, so once you're done, just click on book. 
the next step is to select the cuisine or the dishes that are available okay so suppose i selected juices and the uh, class one has you like uh, selected the juices the system will show the options that are available okay so you just need to select the and once you're done just once you're done just click on done okay so the next step is to fill the uh, payment details okay expiration date and the year so once you're done just click on pay so as you can see over here the system will generate a bill okay specifying the bill number that is the bill uh, the unique id and the customer details that is the name address and the contact number along with the number of tables that you have booked okay and the food items that you have selected the system will display over here and the total cost will be displayed over here that is 180 and suppose you want to uh, get a print of the bill just click on print okay so in this way uh, the system allows you to get the print of the bill okay so the next option is check status here the user can uh, check the status of its booking by specifying the booking id okay just click on check so here as you can see the admin uh, has not yet approved the booking so here you can see the status is pending and the system will also display the other information that is the booking id name contact number the address the date of booking and the time and the number of tables booked along with the table number so this is how the uh, system uh, online restaurant management system works thank you